Today, we're looking at a series of phases in which Newcastle lose almost 50 metres. The Bristol line speed is good, but I think the key is that Newcastle don't change the attacking picture, making it really easy for Bristol to keep pushing them back. Let's have a look. As we'll see in most of the phases, the Newcastle players take the ball deep and static. This allows Bristol to get the go forward, push up in defence from the outside and force Newcastle back towards the breakdown. Take a note of this player who will call the defensive end. This role will crop up a number of times in the rest of this video. In the next phase, Newcastle come onto the ball in motion and a little bit flatter and do just about get across the gain line. However, another deep, static Newcastle phase allows Bristol to get the go forward and stop Newcastle behind the gain line once again. We'll whiz through a few more phases, but on each one you'll see Newcastle aren't offering any challenge to the defence. These last few phases culminate in a really big loss of ground for Newcastle. Here, the gain line is the halfway line. Static, deep play again means Newcastle get tackled five yards behind that gain line. Next phase, and Bristol are pushing from the outside before the ball even gets into the receiver's hands. Playing with the knock on advantage, but they are miles. The sequence ends with a net 50 yard loss for Newcastle. So, what can a team do to counter this common style of defence? Let's look at a contrasting sequence from Worcester against Northampton. In these early phases, both the scrum half and the receiving players are in motion, causing the defence to backpedal and getting some go forward for Worcester. At this point, we see a perfect diamond of options for the receiver, allowing the pass out of the back to get outside that all-important defensive end. Humphreys to his right, draws the man. Sadly, a forward pass prevents a great try from being scored. Let's have one more look at a team beating that defensive end, this time Sailor in attack. Once again, the nine and the receiver in motion allows the little pass out the back, which beats the defensive end. The key thing to take away from this video is the importance of changing the picture you're showing the defence all the time. Don't make it easy for them. See you next time.